Hello and welcome back to Thread Sketching in Action. I'm Deborah Wursu of DebraWursu.com and I'm so delighted to be back for the start of this third year of the Thread Sketching in Action stitching demonstrations. As announced recently, I have an underlying theme for a portion of my work this year, this theme being Forest Floor. So I'm kick-starting the theme with an exploratory thread painting of abstract lichen. After giving some thought to what I wanted to do, I marked an approximate design on the fabric with a chalk marker. This turned out to be next to useless once I got started, as the chalk rubbed off almost immediately. But no matter, I just winged it from there, as I'd more or less settled the idea in my head by this stage. Anyone who knows me and my work well is probably quite familiar with how I tend to go off at tangents and just let a design emerge from the fabric as I work. I hesitate most vehemently to mention my work in the same breath as the great sculptor and artist Michelangelo, but I do take heart from his opinion that every block of stone has a statue inside it, and it is the task of the sculptor to discover it. Likewise with thread painting and fabric, I see the fabric and I have an idea in my mind and I work until I've set the idea free. But there I go again getting sidetracked with philosophy. So back to this thread painting, it began by stitching the central parts of the design and then, as my markings had all but disappeared, I stitched the perimeter of the piece so that I could get all the proportions and placement of other design elements right when I came to them. When I reach this point of a fairly unplanned design such as this one, I stop every now and then and consider the placement and balance of the colours and how shape and colour helps the eye move around the design. It's difficult to describe just how I decide on a colour, I simply choose what I feel is right. If I'm feeling very uncertain about what to select, I generally refer back to a colour wheel to explore complementary colours and shades. This generally solves the problem for me. The shades of orange-yellow and blue-green used here actually fall on the colour wheel as triadic colours, so I knew they would look good together. The third colour of this triad, which I've chosen not to include in this piece, falls into the red-violet range of shades. However, I have included white thread, and of course, the black background. Black and white will look good with many other colours. My idea from the outset with this piece was to liberate it from the background fabric to create a freeform shape and then carefully cut out the remaining black holes in the middle of the design. This necessitated having to finish it all off with a firm edging, which was easily achieved with satin stitch. As my first explorative sampler in this theme, I'm pleased with the outcome, especially as abstract work has never been my forte. If you'd like to learn more about thread sketching and thread painting, my online courses are available 24-7 at learn.debraworsu.com or check out my free resource library, videos and tutorials at debraworsu.com. Thanks for watching. It's so good to be back for a new exciting year. Until next time, bye for now.